Welcome back to our chill Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, last time we were... <sighs> Nothing. Um, last time we were preparing this area for farming? Yeah, farming. I don't know why I sounded so confused when I said that. Because that's what we're doing. Okay. So... I gotta quickly see what what all we have. I know we have some pumpkins, radishes, wheat, carrots, potatoes. That's like every crop in the game, right? Oh no, we got- there's watermelons too. Okay, yeah, we got potato. Wheat seed. Hmm, pumpkin. Hmm. Where's all the radish seeds? I know I have some. Here they are. Or beetroot. Not not radish. Anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's get working. No, I can run. Do not withhold me from my destiny. Okay. So, thinking one could kind of like cut into this hill just a little bit. So, the transition for the animal farm on top is a bit smoother from land to farm or from. Because, like, there's going to be a path. Okay, does this take more than... No, it just takes one. It just goes a lot quicker. Bam! Got a path. Not as jagged I, as I was would have hoped. But, hey, it's a path. Look, the wrong button. I didn't pick it up. There we go. Okay, so. So if that's a path up there, you should dig further, just a little bit more. If you can hear my dad in the background, he's waking up my mom. Bam. Now, now you can hear me. Again. I don't usually record when my parents are home because I'm always afraid that I'm gonna wake up someone or something. So I just don't do it. Most of the time, I, I, I was in a bit of a pickle today, so. Shh, don't tell my mom.
Biggie, what's up, dude? You look like you're just having a grand old time. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit awkward. I'm gonna have to like raise the ground some. Piggy, you're gonna have to move. I love you, dude, but like, come on, we've got priorities. Okay. So, I don't think that this giant plot of land that I've just made should belong to all one crop, so maybe, like, I'll probably divide it down the middle, like, that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I'm good at this. And then, so... I'll continue doing that. Now, just mirror it on this side. How many crops do I have? Ooh. And then, at the end, I could have... Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. And then on the end, I could have, like, pumpkins going off one way, and, uh, melons going off the other. Yeah. That'll be cool. Then on top of it all, we've got animal farms. <sighs> okay. Uh, there's this thing that we do at my school. Uh, my, my school is a project-based school, so this makes sense. Kind of. But, still. There's this thing that we have at my school called Project Block, where, for a semester, you research something that you're really passionate about, and then, then you create an art piece for it. It can be, like, a, a music... Uh, Music, art, engineering, um, I'm trying to remember all the topics. Music, art, engineering, dance. I feel like there's one more. Music, art, engineering, dance. Uh, I can't remember it at all for the life of me, but, so you choose, you choose an art form, and you choose something that you're really passionate about, and you research it for uh, a semester, and it's really cool, and a friend of, a friend of mine and I were planning on next year in the second semester doing a project on Minecraft parodies. And of course the, the art form would be music. Because we'd make our own Minecraft parody and it would be awesome. Maybe? I don't know.
And like it, the cool thing about it, the cool thing about Project Block is that it could totally be about Minecraft parodies. And so no. Okay. I'm just afraid that when we actually go to present the the project, it's just going to devolve into me ranting about how much I love Minecraft, or raving, rather. Because I love Minecraft a lot. For multiple reasons, none of which that I have actually touched on in this series quite yet. I might do it soon. You know what, I might as well do it now. Because, like, yeah. Because... It's such a cool game. Also, I forgot to start the timer, but that's okay because this is probably gonna go way beyond 15 minutes, which is really bizarre for such a quaint little game, but still. Uh, the reason I love Minecraft so much is because, well, it, it came into my life at a really good time. I mean, I didn't know that at the time, but, like, looking back on it, it's just like, yeah, man. Actually, I'm going to make both of these, like, five blocks wide, so it's, there's a path that the water can go down. But anyways, I discovered Minecraft when I was in third grade. Er, no, I not in third grade. I discovered it way before that. But, um, it's what my best friend and I, at the time, bonded over. Uh, since then, we've kind of, like, grown apart, but we still have, like, a mutual respect for each other. But we still, like, hang out and stuff. Uh, moving on. Um... And just looking back on it and all the time that we spent together playing Minecraft. And, uh, oh, this is... And also, I was not very well treated in the third grade. And I'll just leave it at that. But, uh... It's so bizarre to think how... Something as simple as a game could change someone's life. And I might be, like, over-exaggerating a little here, but I totally think that without Minecraft, I'd be somewhere di somewhere else completely. Because if it wasn't for Minecraft, I don't think I would have known that friend as well as I do. And... If I didn't know that friend as well as I do, I doubt they would have invited me to come along to the school that I now attend. I attend because of them. They told me that they let us wear pajamas at school, and at the time, my middle school brain was like, Hot dog, I'm going! <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And if it... To bring it even further, if it wasn't for uh, Minecraft, I wouldn't have gone to the school, and I wouldn't have gotten the support that I needed to really keep on doing YouTube, because I'm not exactly self-conscious about it, but it just... Whenever I thought about bringing up the fact that I have a YouTube channel, whenever I think about bringing that up in conversation, I just feel like it would create some awkward silence. And I don't know why it would. But I just felt like it would, so I didn't tell anyone. But I started telling people recently because that that's, this is like all that I did over spring break. And of course, as soon as you go back to school after spring break, all your teachers are like, what'd you do over spring break? So, you know, I had to tell them. Oh, dang it, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, 
but I wasn't... I didn't expect the amount of support I ended up getting from my peers that I was doing a YouTube channel. And this is kind of like just a side tangent now, but still, it's cool that I could get the support to, to do this. And... Okay, I'm still just kind of ranting now. Actually... Uh... <laughs> this is about all the time that we had for this episode. Thanks for watching and, uh... Just kind of listening through my Minecraft rave. <laughs> Leave some feedback in the comment section. And... I'll see you all around. Have a nice time. Bye.